Now, now we can kind of get into the meat and potatoes, okay. which, you know, of our, uh, the guy, Ye, Ye West. Um, as he yes. as as he likes to be called now, that's Vic's boy, and you know, kind of just back and forth. It's, it's a lot of stuff that happened with him over this past uh, couple weeks, and actually, it's still actually happening. And me, for me, I've always been on mostly on the side of Kanye, way more than the general public, just because I'm a free thinker in some instances. As far as you know, I get what he's doing now. Is Kanye petty? Yes, Kanye is petty. Does Kanye embellish and just speak out of term and just say some incorrect stuff sometimes? He does. But if you listen to probably 95% or nearly about 90% of what he's saying, it's, some, it's a lot of validity to exactly what he's saying. Does he promote? Does he, do, does he manipulate sometimes? Yes, I'm not discounting that. But what I'm saying is I think that Kanye is not crazy. You know what I'm saying? For one, I don't think he's crazy. I think he's calculated. Message. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the other C word that I think that needs to be used with him. I think he's very calculated. And now it's a couple of things that actually happened with Kanye. Uh, well, 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 yay. I want to, you know, his mama called him Kanye, you called him Kanye, but he want to be called yay, whatever. So, um, we can get into, well, let's just talk about the obvious first. The one, at least I heard, where all this stuff came out. He wore a T-shirt, okay? The T-shirt said uh, White White Lives Matter with uh, Candace Owens. That's her last name? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was in uh, her France or something like that, doing mm-hmm. a shoot or whatever. Um, that's, the, that's the petty Kanye, okay? The petty Kanye because... He know what he's doing and how he's doing it. But to me, I had to do some research myself because I was like, okay, he's just, what, what's on the front of the t-shirt? I don't know if anybody ever saw what was on the front of the t-shirt, but on the back it said White Lives Matter, but on the front it's, um, it had Pope John Paul II. And if you're familiar with Pope John Paul II, and all the scandals and the molestations that he did within the Catholic Church and all this stuff that he admitted to the errors of the Catholic uh, ways in 2000. Now it brings it back together for me because it's not just a regular T-shirt just saying White Lives Matter. It has something on the front of it that, that kind of explained a little bit more why he did that, which. I even thought it was petty because he knew how it was going to be taken, how it was going to be uh, taken in the media and doing all that stuff. But uh, with 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 Pope John Paul II being on the front of the shirt, for me, that kind of made it not, ex- okay, I get why he did it. I would not did it, but, you know, the way Kanye is, he triggered people and, you know, allowed, especially us in our community, to kind of get to me kind of over emotional with it um you know going on that but i know you you and kanye don't you know you you don't see eye to eye with me on how you view him and how that situation may be turned out so what 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 say you rag on the whole what, what this is the first part with the white lives matter uh t-shirt um I mean, like, I, I've always said that, you know, I feel like uh, Brother Ye is a clown. Uh, uh, I feel like, I, I don't know if delusional is the word. Like, like, I don't, I mean, like, to be honest, like, I, I really don't even, like, I see stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I stopped caring and following along. Because it's like, you do certain things and then you get mad. When somebody says something about it, but you did it. Kanye is like the male version of Lizzo. You cannot be serious. Like he does stuff and then he gets mad when people, you know what I'm saying? Nobody told you to wear the shirt with your ass out. And you know, oh, I'm trying to promote positive body image. Okay, (coughs) but you know that it's going to garner, be there for the negative. You know what I'm saying? So you know the only thing that people paid attention to was that 
And then you get the coon of all coons, and you know Candace Owens' shirt probably didn't have Pope John Paul on it. Candace Owens is married to a white man. Yeah. I you know what I'm saying? So when that. she's wearing that shirt, she's wearing it for a totally different reason. You know, and again, love is love. That's who you love. Fine. But for her, it ain't about that. For her, everything is our fault. Everything is 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 not anything to do with sy- systemic racism or critical race or. You talking about like Candace Owens, right? Okay. And so you pick the coon of all coons. You know what I'm saying to be up there with you, and it's like, oh well, no, I was trying to highlight. Okay, well, just highlight that then. Oh, you call. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you ain't got to be trying to put a metaphor out there because people are not going to get the metaphor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're the one who providing the lack of context. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's no like I would have been like, hey, snap this picture up and then done that on the back. And so then at least if I'm looking at both images, like, okay, now that gives a different conversation. It was petty. I, I, it was, every it was picture is him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're and then, oh, well, now let me explain. You know, again, I don't it, it's just like the criticism that I had with like. um Charlemagne, like you want to talk about people picking on people, but you have donkey to date. It's kind of hypocritical. Yeah. So it's cool when you do it. You know, it's a problem when I do it. To quote the great finesse two times. Finesse right. two times. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's kind of the thing. So you can call Pete Davidson skeet, but then when somebody calls you Kanye, that's a problem. You yeah. don't see the hypocrisy in that, right? Yeah. I, I never heard Pete Davidson call you out your name or whatever like that or disrespect. He, I mean, yeah, he did some petty oh, stuff. Oh, he definitely disrespected But in, initially, though, he was trying. He went petty when Kanye went petty. You're you're petty with him because yeah. your wife decided to move on because she realized what I have known for a long time is that you're delusional. Mm. And when now to your point, I don't. When I say he's crazy, I don't mean like crazy, like clinically crazy. I mean, crazy like you out of your, you're delusional. He you know wild. what I'm saying? He's he crazy. He's a wild boy. He wild. You know he what I'm saying? And so she realizes that mm-hmm. she out, and so now you're mad because she moved on. But you put the battery in her back to do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You 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 haven't been acting lucid, even if you are calculated. To your point, she's not in on the joke. Right. You know what I'm saying? That that just be like if your woman came home, if if Miss Brown came home, and you got. A broad in the bed with you, and it, it may be your cousin or somebody. It may be somebody blood related to you, and it's like a prank, like on the Chappelle show where they had the little prank thing. Yeah. And she's not in on the joke though, so she walk in and she see whipped cream and candles lit and everything, and you're like, ah, I got no. She ain't in on the joke. She ready. And that's what Kanye does. You pop off, you do your shit, and then you're mad because nobody else is in on the joke. Keep it presidential.